P.S. What can Brown do for you? Well, they apparently can't deliver some simple f***ing music equipment. Brown can shit their pants like a meth addict. That's what they can do. The difference is a meth addict can keep track of where their meth is at all times. Good evening, citizens of the world. My name is Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News, coming to you from our parent company at the Spunk Network, where we cover it all and give it to you hard and quick. UPS needs to be dedicated to their work as much as Kanye West is dedicated to proving he's out of his goddamn mind. I also want to state that I was pretty busy this month and had less time to pay attention to music news, so instead of cutting this month's video out altogether, it's a tad bit shorter than usual with no fake ads or a who gives a shit segment. This is when you all say, who gives a shit? I'm sorry to all five people who watch this series. Our first story is magically stupid. British magician Yuri Geller said that he's elated after buying a pair of sunglasses at an auction that John Lennon once owned for £40,000, which comes out to $51,000. They were expected to only sell for £3,000. Geller said that glasses are a passage into our soul, into our psyche, and that he would have paid £500,000 for them. Geller has apparently hypnotized himself into thinking he's not looking into the passage of the soul of a porn star's poop shoot when looking in the mirror. 51 friggin' grand for a pair of sunglasses. And you got the saying wrong, you idiot. It's the eyes that are the passage into the soul, not glasses. A movie production of Britney Spears' book entitled The Woman in Me is in the works. Here's exclusive footage of the trailer. You want me crazy? Wait a minute. Wait, Patricia, wait a minute. What are you Patricia, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are you doing? Wait a Patricia, hold on a second. Ice Spice has her own Funko Pop. Look at it. It's like she's taking a Funko poop. Wood. The Fugees were set to embark on a reunification tour in the U.S. and then canceled the entire thing three days before the first show. The tour was first set for 2021, but those plans got squashed. It was reset for 2022, but they said that COVID put a damper on that. They rescheduled for 2024, and oh, looky, looky here, it got canceled again. It probably has nothing to do with Lauren Hill. They really are taking black people time to the extreme with this one. Lauren Hill did say that the UK and Europe tours are still going to happen as planned. <laughs> Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign released their Vultures 2 album with a new track called Take Off Your Dress. Kanye's wife, Bianca Sensori, has taken the song as a challenge. Gotta let the cooter breathe. Kendrick Lamar's new song, Euphoria, possibly intentionally mistakes Haley Joel Osment for Joel Osteen. Kendrick mistook the kid that sees dead people for the guy that profits off of dead people. Too soon? Demi Lovato said that she might never tour anymore because it takes a toll on your body and she's not 15 anymore. Demi Lovato is 31 years old. Maybe she wanted to say alcohol and drugs take a toll on your body? Oh, wait. He's got her beat on all that by about 50 years and 100 pounds of cocaine. Usher postponed the tour because of a neck injury. He went on to write, Thank you for understanding that this injury must be healed so that I can give you the 100% excellence you expect. Coincidentally, it's also how he RSVP'd to an earlier P. Diddy party that involved an Irish donkey. Why an Irish donkey? Easier on the neck action. Now we get to a story that's the epitome of what makes these videos possible. Sexy Red has a lip gloss line and wait until you hear the names. You wouldn't guess the shades of those lip glosses in a million years. These are real names. The line includes the appetizing coochie juice, booty hole brown, nut, pussy hole pink, my personal favorite yellow discharge, gonorrhea, Blue balls and sex on my period. Mm -mm -mm. Sounds like some new menu items at McDonald's. This is so friggin' ridiculous that I don't even have to make a joke. But I guess I just did. 
SZA said that she's taking a break from performing to get her life together. What does she mean, get her life together? People are trying to be in her position to get their lives together. Is every celebrity nuts in the f***ing head? Well, folks, that's all the news for now. You will like this video. Comment down below and subscribe. I'm Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News. You know what I always say, huh? <laughs> Who gives a shit? Until next time. I tried getting that on the desk so I don't have to bend down. I'm too damn lazy today. If SZA is still trying to figure out her life, then that reminds me. What the hell am I doing?